Starlink is very good if you've no internet access. If you have an existing fiber line or the existing really good 4G, 5G, then you don't need Starlink. But if you are living in an area that has absolutely no coverage, then Starlink is far, far better than the original geostationary satellite dishes. Starlink offers better speeds and lower latency. The only slight downside is that the upload speeds on Starlink is pretty much what you see in 4G. It's about 20 megabits per second. So if you are a company that uploads massive amounts of data, a Starlink connection may need to be aggregated amongst something else to get the sort of bandwidth you need. But for most people, Starlink is very good. Now, the reason why your port forwards don't work in Starlink is because Starlink uses a technology called Carrier NAT. And Carrier NAT means that your port forwards are set up in their data centers and their ground stations. It's not set up at the Starlink router. This means that you can't set up a port forward. The only way you're going to get access to your cameras is either by having a VPN from the site back into a server in AWS or something like that, and then you connect that server or by buying an iSpy or iControl from Netcelero. So Starlink is a great technology, but it's more similar to uh, 4G and 5G networks as opposed to being more similar to a fiber network you would have to your house where you'd have the IP at the premises or you'd get it, be able to get a static. So there's no sign Starlink can go off for static IPs, but the way it looks like they've set up their IPv4 network, they never will. They are talking about offering IPv6 as static, but that's sometimes next year. IPv6 can work, but for a lot of people, their technology they're trying to connect to remotely doesn't support IPv6. So if you have Starlink and you're having issues with particular software before you throw it out, have a chat with us because the iControl might be able to help.